All right, happy Monday, guys. It has been a very wet start to week 36. Yesterday was spent in the Georgia mountains. Um, you'll see that video before this video. This is gonna be the second video for week 36. Today is uh, also quite damp. It's late afternoon right now. The high for the day, only 76 degrees, which for August is fantastic. So, hoping there will be something under 10 here at the house. true. Little guy's still hanging out. A lot of salamander, same one that's been under there for about a week now. So it seems like this guy's pretty much taken up residence underneath this pile of boards. He's been here for a week now, and who knows how long he was here before that. But uh, yeah, I'm probably just gonna put him back after a couple quick photos because I didn't photograph him last time I found him. And uh, keep on herping. All right, buddy. Still no snake shit. A marbled salamander. Pretty cool. Well, since this is the first marbled salamander I've seen since uh, probably March or February, I did get him out for a couple pictures, but good looking little salamander. So these guys are one of the most common things we see. Lovely. Come on, focus. There we go. A tick. So these guys are one of the more common species of salamander we see here during the winter months. Um, I'm sure there will be plenty of them in my upcoming videos. All right, little buddy, let's go back under your board. So since there's been nothing out but salamanders, and there seems to be a little bit more rain in the forecast for today, what I might do is just turn this into a salamander video. Anyways, this board right here used to be right there but I moved it because I found this big snake shed over there. It looks like it was going into a hole right here. So I moved the board, and we're gonna see how it does over this hole. Nothing today, but you can see that hole right there. Looks pretty good. I bet this will get snakes under it eventually. Welcome back to another long-awaited episode of Walking Around in the Rain with Noah. It is late August, week 36. Sorry, I gotta keep an eye where I'm walking, putting my feet. And I am headed out tonight to go look for amphibians for the first time this fall. So, it's a little bit early, it's warm, and generally you want cooler nights for this, but I'm gonna go see if anything's moving. All right guys, so if you're a long time subscriber of the channel, you might know how this works, but if not, it's a kind of weird concept, so I'll explain it a little bit. What I'm doing is I, oh, there's some deer. I live at the top of a hill above a massive and very rich floodplain environment. Um, and for that, I'm very fortunate. But when it rains like this, especially in the fall and winter, I can come down to the road here and walk the road and see migrating amphibians making their way to their breeding pools, making their way from their breeding pools. 
And uh, what I'm hoping for today is to catch a little bit of early movement of uh, some of these amphibians. So I will check in with you guys if I see anything. But uh, normally I would have seen a couple of things during the stretch of time I was just talking. So I'm not terribly optimistic, but I will stick it out a little bit and I'll keep you guys updated. Alright guys, here is our first find. And this is really cool. This is a very unusual species to see this time of year. This is a upland chorus frog. Um, these are guys, oh, make sure this guy doesn't escape. These are a species of frog that we see a lot of during the late winter and early spring months when they're actually breeding. But, uh, it's August, so definitely strange to see them out this early. But I'm gonna get a quick photo of this guy and get him out of the road. They're a pretty drab frog, but they have very interesting behavior. Uh, the, the, the fact that they come out in mass for several months of the year, not even months, it's more like a, a span of several weeks at the most that these frogs come out to breed. And outside of that time period, you hardly ever see them. So it's really weird to see one right now. Probably the first one I've ever found in the month of August. So I'm going to get a quick photo of this guy and get him out of the road. All right, guys, our next find of the night is another species that you would not typically expect to see in the month of August. This is a juvenile spring peeper. Unlike the upland chorus frog we saw earlier, this is a juvenile of this species, so they get a lot bigger than this. I wouldn't say a lot, but probably twice this size. This is probably a baby from this year's batch, but if he'll come out in the open a little bit more for us, let's see, there we go. You can see that this guy has a cross on his back that gives this species its scientific name, Sudacris crucifer, named after the cross. But pretty cool little guy. These are another species that I love hearing calling in the springtime. and something that you're certainly going to see a lot more of as we start moving into the winter months. Here is our third metamorph spring peeper of the night. It seems like these guys are the only thing moving in any numbers. But it does look like there might be another one right here. Yep. Another metamorph spring peeper. Plenty of these guys out. Alright guys, this right here is exactly what we came out here tonight for. Exactly the thing I was hoping for after flipping one in the yard today. This is an adult marbled salamander Look at that Absolutely beautiful. This is probably an adult male. They tend to have more vibrant coloration than the females But on a good night you can come out here and probably if you walked as long as the weather was still good I'm sure you could rack up a couple hundred of these guys crossing this road all right guys, here's one more look at this marbled salamander before I get him out of the road. This guy is probably making his way towards his winter breeding grounds on the other side of the road here. So I'm going to make sure he gets there safely and then we're going to keep on walking and see if we can find any more. All right guys, so just up the road I see the pretty unmistakable shape of a salamander sitting in the road right there. Let's see if I can zoom in on it for you guys so you can see what I'm looking for. There you go. Let's go see what kind it is. Alright, so this is looking like it's going to be a three-line salamander. Yep. So, these guys are one of our more summer active salamanders. You see a lot of them, you would kind of expect to see them in August, June, May, July. All throughout the summer, once it's a little bit warmer on nights like tonight. But they're a very cool species. They're the largest of the two Eurycia species that I see on this road. Um, the other being the two-line salamander, which, as you could probably guess, only has two lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a quick photo of this guy, and then I'll get some more video. Alrighty, guys. It looks like this guy is pretty much fed up with me trying to get pictures of him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure he gets off the road. These guys are really fond of moving, so it shouldn't be too hard. And there you go. <laughs> Makes them hard to get a good photo of, but it's a good thing for them because I guess it makes them less likely to get run over by cars, but go on, buddy. There he goes. All right, guys, I'm looking at something that I think is going to be very cool, but uh, it's way over there, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of... Oh, there's two of them. Holy crap. I don't know if you guys can see that, but right there... Let me see if I can zoom in. That right there is a sleeping rough green snake. Let's see if I see any more. There's three. There's another one right there. Holy crap. That might be a fourth. All right, guys. I am going to get Caitlin so she can see this real quick, and then I'm going to come back 
and get a better look at these guys for you. There's a third one there, two. I th that's that's at least three. I'll be right back. So to give you all some background info, I have never seen a rough green snake at my house, and there are three down here by the road, right by my house, sleeping in trees. So I'm gonna go get Caitlin because she loves rough green snakes and's never seen one in the wild. Um, at least not in C2. I've showed them to her a couple times that I caught and brought back and let her see and then let them go. But I'm gonna go get her and we're gonna come back and see if these snakes are still there. I'm hoping they will be. They should be asleep, so I can't imagine they're gonna go anywhere. But it's crazy to me that I've been, I've lived here my whole life basically and I've never seen a rough green snake here until now. And there's three of them. All right guys, so I got Caitlin. She's in her pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> She's very excited, and we're gonna go take a look at these snakes. Let's see. I, I think I see even more than the three I saw originally, but we're gonna go down there. All right, guys. So this is the original snake that I saw, and there's actually, believe it or not, two of them right here. You can see there's the one in the front there, and there's a second one behind it on the right. That's crazy. So that's at least four. I'm gonna get a picture of these guys real quick. All right, guys, Caitlin's gonna hold the light while I grab these two. Oh, this is always such a pain because they like to hide in bushes that are not easy to freaking, like, I'm tangled up in blackberry right now. All right. There we go. <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is one and two. So I'm gonna go grab the other ones real quick. All right, Caitlin's got the first two. Here's number three right here. Number three looks... Let's see, he looks like a smaller one, but he's also up higher. Let me get a quick picture of that guy, too. You see him? Yeah. He's looking at me. I'm going to have to go up to this one. Got him. <laughs> three. All right, guys, so we've got the three ref greens. And there's at least a fourth one right there. You see him at the top of that bush. Right there. There's a bird! You see the bird? Mm -hmm. I wonder what he is. I'm gonna get a picture of that bird and see what it is. Alright All right, guys, so the fourth rock green tank's right there. I see it. I saw at least one more. I don't know where he went, but... Number four. It's gonna be the hardest to get to yet. He's in the middle of this briar. I too am in the middle of this briar. Oh! <laughs> uh. Alright, four rough green snakes. Let's see if there's any more. Alright, guys, so I've been thinking about why I've never seen a rough green snake here and trying to make some sense of it. And I think I've kind of figured it out. A lot of times these snakes prefer open areas that get fairly warm during the daytime and get a lot of sun. And you can see right here I'm on a power line cut right by my house. And this power line cut's obviously going to be quite an open and sunny area, but they maintain it pretty well. So there's usually not vegetation here, but it's grown up and they haven't cleared it this year. And all this vegetation that I've found these snakes in has been right here, right where this open power line cut is, that there usually isn't vegetation at this time of year. So I think that would pretty much explain why I haven't seen green snakes at this exact spot before. And this is the best looking habitat for them. But we've got four. All right, guys, here's a look at these four snakes while they're hanging out in my hand. Absolutely awesome. Couldn't have asked for a better find to end the night on. We weren't seeing a lot in the way of amphibians. But, I mean, this is way better if you ask me. A handful of the snake you grew up looking for as a kid, not being able to find right here in my own backyard. It's frustrating, but very cool in the same way. So, we're just going to put these guys back in their trees, make sure they go back where we found them, and probably call it a night. Absolutely awesome. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, now that I have enough content, this will probably be the end of the video. I was planning on making that little amphibian tirade. The, uh, pretty much just the intro for a video, but... Check that out. The resident yard armadillos hanging out. 
I wonder how close he's gonna let me get. Hey, buddy. You've dug up the yard quite a bit right here. He doesn't seem terribly concerned about my presence at all. Well, they don't have very good... Oh. They don't have very good eyes. Anyways, try not to tear up the yard so much, you little stinker.